Hi, welcome. In this video, I'm going to go through problem 26. And uh, problem 26 says, what is the slope of the line uh, tangent to the polar curve, this given at uh, theta equals zero radians? Okay, I know it's radians because it doesn't have a degree mark in it. Uh, but in any case, all we need to figure out is the slope of the tangent line um, to this uh, polar curve at theta equals zero radians. Okay, now in order for you to do that, you need to recall this formula for the derivative of a curve uh, given in polar form, right? This is the polar equation. So if you're given a curve in polar form, uh, then in rectangular form dy dx, this derivative could be related uh, to this quotient here on the right side. Now you need to memorize this. Uh, or you could recall when you discussed um, polar equations and their derivatives, uh, how you could have arrived at this formula, okay? All right, now, so granted that, uh, all you're after is dy dx at theta equals zero radians. So you just need to calculate this. Notice that that calculation first requires that we find out what dr d theta is. Since we're given that r equals one plus 2 sine theta, dr d theta should equal um, 2 cosine theta. Got it. So keeping that in mind, I will write the dy dx is going to equal dr d theta, which is 2 cosine theta, times sine theta, so times sine theta, Ooh. times sine theta, got it plus r, well, notice r is given here as one plus two sine theta. So one plus two sine theta r times cosine theta, got it, times cosine theta. And then all of this is divided by, that's long, so I'll use a ruler, divided by, okay, dr d theta again, now we're working on the denominator. dr d theta again is two cosine theta. So two cosine theta times cosine theta, yep. And then minus r, one plus two sine theta, times sine theta, got it. Now I'm going to try to condense um, at the same time distributing. Uh, it's okay if you do not recall this identity from trigonometry, but two cosine theta um, times sine theta, which is two sine theta, cosine theta, is the value of sine two theta. So all of this is just sine two theta. Okay, great. And then I have plus, distributing cosine from the right, I will have plus cosine theta. And then plus, I'm going to get notice after distributing this over here, when I distribute it there, I'm going to get um, two sine theta, cosine theta. So sine two theta again. Okay, got it. So that's kind of condensing nicely in the numerator, and especially because we still can simplify some more. The denominator here, it's gonna say uh, two cosine squared theta, and then minus distributing sine from the right, and the negative sine from the left. <laughs> okay, oh, that was kind of comical, so sine theta. Um, and then minus, 2 sine squared theta. Okay, so you could make the substitution if uh, you feel better um, that cosine squared theta and the denominator cosine squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta, and that's from the famous Pythagorean identity. I don't know if it's that famous, but anyway. So those two guys will combine to 2 sine 2 theta, and then we have plus cosine theta, got it. And all of this is divided by, um, and again, making this substitution that two cosine squared theta is two times one minus sine squared theta. You could write two cosine squared theta is two minus two sine squared theta. Okay, so um, we're gonna split this into two minus two sine squared theta. And notice that we have another minus two sine squared theta, so we could write that and this together as minus four sine squared theta. 
uh, am I doing too many things at once? Yeah, maybe. So I'll just do it in two steps. So remember, I could replace this by the work I've justified over here with that. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to write 2 minus 2 sine squared theta uh, and then minus sine theta and then minus 2 sine squared theta. You notice that I was trying to really avoid writing. Okay, so we can condense this some more. I'm claiming is, well, the numerator can't condense anymore. So it's 2 sine 2 theta plus cosine theta. And this is just me condensing dy dx still. And then this is divided by what I was saying earlier as well. I have a 2, and that's that 2. But then now I'm going to skip to this minus 2 sine theta. Minus. Well, it's not minus 2 sine theta. It's just minus sine theta, right? I'm going to skip to that. So it's minus sine theta. Got that. Now, what I was claiming earlier is that this guy and this guy are identical, and that's why I wanted to make the substitution anyway. And I, now, now I can write them as minus 4 sine squared theta. Great. At this point, I cannot condense much, and I don't want to, and I don't care to. So this is what I have is dy dx. And I know I'm supposed to be finding out the value at theta equals 0 right there. So uh, I'm going to put that vertical bar here and say theta equals 0. I'll do the calculation over here. The calculation will say 2 times sine of 2 times 0. So 2 times sine of 0. Sine of 0 is 0. So this thing is going to go away. And then we'll have um, 0 plus cosine of 0 from that. And that's definitely going to stay because that's 1. And then we divide by 2 minus, we just said sine of 0 is 0. So 2 minus 0. And then minus 4 times sine squared of zero, well zero if you square it is still zero. So this reduces to cosine of zero is one, therefore zero plus one, which is one in the numerator. And in the denominator we have two minus zero minus zero, therefore this is one half. Okay, take care.